about half of people have astigmatism that makes their vision worse, but most of them have no clue what astigmatism actually means. I'll show simulations of what different levels of astigmatism look like, break down what's really going on in your eyes if you have this, and demonstrate exactly how glasses, contacts, and laser eye surgery correct for astigmatism. So what's astigmatism in the first place? The cornea, or the clear curved surface on the very front of our eyes, is the thing that first bends light entering your eyes. Astigmatism typically means that your cornea is uneven. It's not a perfect part of a circle, but is instead stretched out in different directions. And this causes light to be bent differently in different directions. I'm going to use this laser demo to illustrate that. So let's say that a perfect eye, focusing light exactly as it should to give you clear vision, would take in light from far away and focus that light down to a single point on your retina. That will give you nice sharp vision. But again, astigmatism means that your eye is not bending light the same way in different directions. So maybe the vertical part of your eye could be working as it should, focusing light onto the retina, but then the horizontal part of your eye could be nearsighted, focusing the light too soon. You can see here that that point of focus was moved up into the eye. So now what's hitting the retina is spread out and your vision becomes blurry. Or that direction of your vision could be farsighted, where it doesn't bend the light sharply enough. So your eye tries to focus that light outside of your eye, but you can see again that what actually hits your retina is a spread out version of that spot. And that would again make your vision blurry. So astigmatism just means that those different directions are doing different things. It's also possible to have lenticular astigmatism, where instead of the cornea on the front of your eye being shaped all wonky, it's the lens inside of your eye, the lens that changes its shape to shift your focus from things up close to things further away. So it's that lens that has an asymmetric shape. The corrective technologies for astigmatism, like glasses and contacts, which we'll talk more about later, address both the normal kind of astigmatism with your wonky shaped corneas and this lenticular astigmatism where it's the lens inside of your eyes that is more asymmetrically shaped. But now let's see how astigmatism would actually impact what you see. This video simulates this. You can see everything changing as the amount and direction of astigmatism are changed. I'll explain what those numbers mean more later. Astigmatism has three main effects. Blur, which causes you to not see as much detail. Distortion, which can warp or stretch things, and reduced contrast, which also makes it harder to distinguish things and see detail. Astigmatism is also one of the main factors that causes these streaks of light that you might see at night. Not everyone actually sees those lines. I don't because I don't have astigmatism. The asymmetric focusing of light stretches out points of light, and the effect is way worse at night because your pupil has dilated or expanded because it's dark out. I'll link to another video down in the description about why it's harder to see at night in general and how to stop being blinded by headlights at night. So the glasses and contacts that correct for astigmatism have to be bent differently in different directions to correct for the asymmetric shape of your eye. So as I rotate this around, you can kind of see that it's a bit wavy. That's because the curvature of this lens changes in its different axes. The contacts for astigmatism are called toric lenses and they're asymmetric like that lens I was just holding up to. They often have a marking showing you which part should be on the bottom of your eye. But if you just put them in, they should settle to the right place over time if you just keep blinking because they're usually made heavier on the very bottom of the lens, so it just naturally settles that way because of gravity. All right, back to this laser demo for a second. This is one of the lenses that addresses astigmatism. So as I rotate it, you can see that the amount the light is bent changes. That's again because this lens is bent differently in different directions, which shows up as I rotate this. Here, I'm gonna look through one of the lenses for astigmatism, looking at some blinds over here. As I rotate it, you'll see some kind of wonky effects happening and the magnification being different because it's more powerful in one direction than the other. I'll bring that up to the camera here move it around and you can see those weird effects as I rotate it. So if you have glasses for astigmatism, give that a shot. Hold them out in front of you and rotate it to see these different effects. But your glasses prescription that describes your level of astigmatism and everything else that your glasses do might look like a bunch of gibberish to you. I'll break down what all those different numbers mean. The top of these two rows is for your right eye and the bottom row is for your left eye. SPH, that first number you see, describes the overall power of your lenses. 
So essentially, if you correct for near or farsightedness for your whole eye, you'll have a number here. A negative number would mean that it's correcting for nearsightedness, and a positive number would mean that you're correcting for farsightedness. And the bigger that number is, the stronger your lenses are, the more they're correcting the light going into your eyes. Now CYL, that tells you if you have astigmatism. So if you have any number for CYL, you have some amount of astigmatism. It describes the difference in power between two axes of your eye. So if you have a positive number there, it's showing you that the certain direction, and we'll explain the directions in a second, has that much more positive power in that direction compared to its perpendicular one. So the next value is axis. This is telling you the orientation of your astigmatism. CYL tells you its strength, and axis tells you its direction. So here's some examples. If you have a negative 0.75 CYL number with a 10 axis value in the top row, that means that the 10 degree line of your right eye has 0.75 diopters less of optical power than its perpendicular direction. While negative 0.5 CYL with a 30 axis in the bottom row means that the 30 degree line of your left eye has 0.5 diopters less of optical power than its perpendicular direction. It's more common to have an axis value close to the 180 degree line like this when we're younger, but that often drifts closer to the 90 degree line as we get older. Laser eye surgery can also address astigmatism in a lot of cases too. By using the laser to remove the parts of your cornea that are sticking out too much, making it closer to a nice continuous curve. LASIK can remove up to five diopters of astigmatism most of the time. If you have noticeable astigmatism, definitely go talk to your eye doctor to figure out what the best treatment option is for you. And if there are any other eye-related topics you'd like me to talk about, please let me know down in the comments and subscribe so you can see the videos about those suggestions once I get around to making them. Thanks.